What's everybody? It's time for another Rock Metal Update. <laughs> That's right, it's time for another Rock Metal Update. It's going to be a 7 inch update. I uh, just posted a 12 inch update as well, so I will post a link up here for you to click on if you missed that 12 inch update, but it's going to be all 7 inch singles. Uh, I got a decent batch this time around. Most of these came from the same seller. Um, been buying quite a bit from this seller. She's, uh, she seems to have just a uh, great selection and good prices. Uh, most of her stuff is European imports and stuff I'm looking for. So. Uh, I just been going to her eBay store and buying up everything I'm seeing. Most of it's been three to six dollars, um, which is a great price for most of this stuff, as you will see. And in my last seven-inch update as well, a lot of it came from her. So we're gonna start off with the uh, Forever Free by Wasp. This is a um, uh, single on Capitol Lake. Can I should have looked before I did this. Um, from looks like a UK pressing, and um, obviously from the Ch uh, Headless Children album. There's the back cover, and it does come with a patch, which is right there, and the patch will stay with it because, you know, it's just supposed to be there. <laughs> and that's just the way I am. Kind of anal collector. When things come with the record, it has to stay with the record. Um, so, <laughs> sometimes uh, I actually have a UFO single that I ended up buying two of just because I needed the patch for my one of my, uh, my denim vests, and uh, <laughs> I couldn't not have the record with the patch. So I ended up giving the, the uh, other record away without the patch to somebody else. <laughs> What can I say? Um, anyhow, Wasp, Forever Free. Um, great single. This one here was fairly cheap. Uh, has a small ding on the cover. Um, this is a UK pressing. Um, or was this a German pressing? No, this UK pressing of Die Young. Uh, Black Sabbath with Ron James Dio on vocals with Heaven and Hell live on the B side. And as you can see, there was a price tag right here that just that kind of tore the cover a little bit but uh, for the price I wasn't going to complain about that little defect the record itself is in mint condition and here's the back uh, shows the uh, Heaven and Hell album and a Living Legends um, I don't know if that was a soundtrack or a compilation regardless it obviously had Sabbath on it so uh, on the Vertigo label Sabbath singles don't come easy uh, <laughs> That's only the third one I actually own, so they're um, usually overpriced. And like I said, that one there I think was five dollars, or right around that range. Uh, another favorite band of mine, Deep Purple, Ian Gillan, one of my favorite vocalists, Richie Blackmore, of course. Um, this is um, the Hush Live um, with Dead or Alive live on the back. Um, this is on a colored vinyl on the Polydor label, and this is on a blue blue vinyl and uh, I really love the version of Hush on here with, with Ian Gillen on vocals but we're gonna say I pretty much like anything with Ian Gillen on vocals uh, he's one of my all-time favorite vocalists the guy can sing the guy can scream he's just one of the best uh, heavy metal vocalists ever in my opinion uh, keep it on keep it on this is a US single this one I did not pick up from that seller picked this one up uh, cheap somewhere else this is the US pressing of BOC's Burning For You huge Blue Oyster Cult fan and I really like Fire of Unknown Origin. It's a great album. I really like the cover art as well. And uh, it has Vengeance, the Pact, on the back side. And uh, the back cover looks like... By the way, playing in the background is uh, Final Axe. There's the back. All right, next up, this is a very cool one. I picked this up from that same seller. Um, this is a, a very unusual packaging on this 12-inch single. This is a UK thrash band. This is Onslaught. Um, <clears throat> and this is Let There Be Rock, yes, the ACDC song, uh, backed up with Shell Shock Live. Um, very cool single, um, obviously looking like a, a belt and denim. Um, this features a Grim Reaper vocalist, uh, Steve Grimmett on vocals, and uh, I, I personally love that album with, with him on it from Onslaught. Uh, here's the back cover, but this thing's kind of cool. The uh, I'm not going to mess with this thing too much in the future because it just it just beats it up too much. But as you can see, there's this little belt loop. And this little belt comes in here and comes out through here like this. And then the opens up 
opens up again, and then the records can slide into into there. So it's pretty cool packaging, but like I said, uh, messing with it too much is just going to get beat up. And I usually keep the records in the back sleeve anyhow behind it. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do with this one. And this is on the London label. And this is another UK pressing. Cool. Never seen an, on an onslaught single before. So very cool to pick that up. Little thrash metal. Uh, another one from, I've uh, been getting quite a few of these guys recently. Um, long live Motorhead. And this is the Death Forever 7 inch. I also have the 12 inch of this album. Um, this, I should say this single. Uh, backed up with uh, On the Road Live. Here's the back side. And um, the GWR label. Motorhead. I'll collect anything by Motorhead. It's uh, unfortunate we lost Lemmy and uh, Filthy Feel in the last couple months. Um, but like I said, long live Motorhead. Uh, next up, one of my favorite Doom bands, Epic Doom from Candlemass. Again, never thought I'd find a Candlemass single, but I, this same seller had this single in there, and I think I paid a little more for this, maybe $7. Still, $7 for a Candlemass single? I never even knew they had a single, <laughs> a 7-inch single. This is a uh, Samarathon on the Axis label. Here's the front and back cover. And this is on a red translucent vinyl, I believe. No, it's not translucent. It is a red vinyl, but it's not translucent. It's opaque, actually. So, very cool. Um, from 1988. So, uh, B-side is uh, Solitude, a 1988 re-recorded version. Uh, next up, another, uh, I've shown uh, not too distant past my uh, Saxon 7-inch collection, and I managed to score a Saxon single I never thought I'd get. This is the uh, Rainbow Theme, and um, from the very first Saxon album. Um, big Teaser is the A-side, and Rainbow Theme is the B-side. The Carrier label, Carrier label, and uh, got a little bit of ring wear. Don't care. Never seen this one before. Uh, very cool to have it. It's uh, 1980, I believe. Yeah, 1980. <laughs> um, of course, the first sax album came out in 79. Um, just great single, man. I was just shocked to find it. Same seller. I pretty much depleted her metal collection <laughs> over the past few months. Uh, this next one was a gift from, uh, from Trog. Uh, came around the Christmas time. This is Molly Hatchet, the Rambler, backed with uh, Get Her Back. And you all have seen my Molly Hatchet collection before. Um, you know, if you haven't, search in the Light like Metal Molly Hatchet and it'll pop up. Um, but just the standard US pressing with the uh, standard Epic label. Uh, this next one's not metal whatsoever, but I'm a huge prog fan, and especially 70s prog. Uh, however, this is actually an 80s release from this band. This is Yet of Love. Uh, yes, yeah, more in their pop era. Uh, I still like them. John Anderson's one of my favorite vocalists, and uh, I still love the 80s stuff, even though I love the 70s stuff a little more. On the Atco label, this is a U.S. pressing from 1987. And the back cover is pretty generic, but here's the back cover. And again, it was on the Atco label. Um, this is actually the only Yes 7 single in my collection, which I um, don't know why, because I really love Yes. <laughs> yes, Genesis, Nectar, uh, some of my favorite prog bands, and right on. Anyhow, um, you all know that I'm a huge Runaways fan. I, I collect anything by the Runaways, and a lot of stuff post-Runaways. Um, this is Lita Ford, Gotta Let Go. Uh, this is a UK pressing on Vertigo from her second album. And it has Run With The Money on the B-side. And um, is this a German pressing or UK pressing? Yep, this is a UK pressing. And uh, yeah, this is from our second album, like I said, Dancing on the Edge, which I don't even have on vinyl. I have it on CD, but I do have a single. <laughs> and then along with Lita, Lita Ford, there is Joan Jett and the Blackhearts. Do you want to touch me there? Yeah. All right, I won't sing. <laughs> Uh, I like Joan Jett, you know, she's just a rocker. Um, this is from her first album, I believe. And this is a promo single. Uh, and I believe it has the same song on both sides. On the Boardwalk label. 
and the cover is pretty much the same on both sides as well. But I, I love Joan Jett and I love Lee the Ford, love the Runaways. Um, so yeah, anyhow, one of my favorite artists of all time. Uh, again, I showed not too long ago my Gary Moore, Phil Lynott, and Thin Lizzy 7 inch collection. And since that time, I've added quite a few uh, Thin Lizzy and Phil Lynott. Here's another one. This is from, uh, this is Together, another UK single on the Vertigo label. Again, from the same seller. Uh, back with Somebody Else's Dream. This is from the Phil Lynott, Philip Lynott album. Definitely not heavy metal. This is just straightforward uh, rock. Um, but it's Phil Lynott, and I love Phil Lynott's voice, love his bass playing, love his writing, love everything about him, so just a huge fan. So very glad to have another piece of uh, Thin Lizzy history in my, uh, in my collection. Another band that I showed not too long ago in my collection that I, I have a fairly large UFO 7-inch collection. Uh, this is constantly, it's constantly growing. This is another one, um, same seller on eBay I picked this up from. This is 33 and a half RPM single of Only You Can Rock Me, Cherry and Rock Bottom. Uh, and this is on a translucent, nope, opaque, keep saying I want to say translucent, an opaque red vinyl on the Chrysalis label. And uh, a Chrysalis, Chrysalis. Um, and this came with an offer for a free, exclusive Frisbee offer. Buyers of this single can purchase a specially designed UFO Frisbee. Tear off the back flap of the bottom right of the, tag of the bag and send it with your name address together with a cross check of postal order for $1 made payable to Chrysalis. Think that offer is still good? <laughs> I doubt it. Thankfully this person did not tear off the back. Uh, this is still in perfect condition. Um, so this person, whoever originally purchased this record did not get their Frisbee. And uh, apparently neither will I because even if I... Even if I wanted it, I wouldn't tear the back of the single off, so. Uh, a couple more left. Uh, this next one was a freebie from that same seller. Um, she threw this in just because, I guess. Um, this is a um, Spiral Scratch, uh, an interview with Iron Maiden from December 1988. Um, and this, so this is an interview single of Iron Maiden. Huge Maiden fan, as you guys know. Um, so yeah, cool single. I probably wouldn't have bought this single. I'm not huge into interview singles, um, but free is great <laughs> so I'm glad to have it and then finally this is the last one for this edition um, this is um, a picture this single Coverdale Page of course Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin fame David Coverdale of Deep Purple and White Snake fame uh, and they released this one album which I haven't heard in forever but when I was going through that that uh, girl's list of, um, of singles I saw this on there I was like ah, I'm gonna snag that up I think it was three dollars or four dollars somewhere in that area grabbed it um, pretty sure this is a promotional single strictly limited uh, seven inch picture single includes fold out cover age pale biography um, which it does so I mean uh, let me pull that all out and show it to you so here is the, the single and then here is the, the cover art which comes with the bio on the inside. So kind of cool packaging, a little unusual with the uh, half flap here, um, which is where the record itself goes. So there is no actual cover for this record. It just sits in a little half sleeve like this. And then it came inside a hard cover or a hard plastic sleeve, which in my anal collecting had to put into yet another sleeve <laughs> to protect the other sleeve. So there you go, covered out page. And that is the last one for this 7 inch update. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, leave some comments below. I love talking to you guys about music. Uh, maybe you know something about these I didn't know. Um, maybe there's something in here you have already or you don't have or you suggest I pick up or, or uh, I even take trade offers. You know, <laughs> If there's something in there you're dying to have, um, you never know, man. You may have something that I'm dying to have, right? Uh, so again, leave some comments below, thumbs up if you uh, if you liked it, and uh, please go ahead and subscribe. And one more thing, don't forget to check out the Metal Obsession uh, channel on YouTube. We will be releasing this coming Friday, uh, the 27th, I believe, of, of January 2016, the Metal Obsession documentary, a full hour and 20 minute documentary on vinyl collectors of heavy metal, um, the who, what, where, when, and why, you know, 
anything you would want to know about why people are obsessed with collecting vinyl uh, and heavy metal in, in particular. Um, and uh, it's, it's just a dynamite video. Um, check out the preview if you haven't already. So that's it. Thanks for watching and God bless.